so guys this is our lecture 07 of hello alkanes hello arenes in this method we will discuss preparation of hello arenes one method i have already discussed it that is send me a reaction now i am going to prepare hello arenes from aromatic hydrocarbons this is very important a reaction now take aromatic hydrocarbon let us take benzene this is our aromatic hydrocarbon treat this aromatic benzene for example with cl2 this reaction is carried out in presence of Lewis acetus. Lewis acetus we use over here either AlCl3 or FeBr3 or FeCl3 and Fe powder. But this reaction is carried out in dark. Why in dark? There is, re there is a reason for this. This reaction is carried out in dark. This is Fe powder. Now all of these act as catalysts for this reaction. The product of the reaction over here is chlorobenzene we get chlorobenzene we can get bromobenzene as well we can get other derivatives as well now how the reaction proceeds let us discuss the mechanism of the reaction mechanism of this reaction now see AlCl3 or FeCl3 or Fe powder they all act as Lewis acid catalysts see AlCl3 what is the Lewis acid Lewis acid is electron deficient species which accepts pair of electrons now this is our Al, Cl, Cl and Cl now see there are 2, 4 and 6 electrons. It is deficient of 2 electrons. Deficient of 2 electrons means it will accept electron pair. Now first this Lewis acid AlCl3. This is Lewis acid. Because it accepts electron pair. First it will react with ClCl. It will accept electron pair. Means this Cl neg negative will attack this AlCl. And we get Cl positive. That's electrophile. Electrophile is generated over here. The aim of using this Lewis acid is to generate electrophile. What is the aim of using AlCl3 or FeCl3 or Fe powder over here? It is only to generate electrophile. Plus we get AlCl4 negative. Now this is first step of the reaction. In the next step, this benzene ring attacks this electrophile. In the next step, benzene ring attacks this electrophile. Now second step, this is step first. In the second step, what happens? This benzene ring attacks electrophile Cl positive. This is electrophile. Now how can benzene ring attack to an electrophile? Benzene ring is aromatic. Aromatic compounds are more stable. It is a very very much stable compound. Why it reacts to, with electrophile Cl positive to form unstable product or less stable product. Not unstable but less stable. Now see. Pi bonds, they are usually very, they are usually weak bonds than those of sigma bonds. We can break this pi bond. Now see if I break this pi bond towards this side, then this becomes negatively charged and this carbon becomes positively charged. Then this negative charge attacks this electrophile. Now we get chlorine has attacked over here and positive charge has been created over here. We have double bond over here, double bond over here. Now see this is our intermediate. The intermediate is carbocation intermediate. This is intermediate. This is intermediate in this reaction. Now see this intermediate. Is it stable or not? This intermediate is quite stable intermediate. Why? Because it, it, it is stable because of delocalization. Let us see how is it stable. Why it is formed. It should not have been formed because this is a very stable species. From very stable species we are getting a less stable species but it is formed why because it is resonance stabilized now this is our stable species this is species which is formed it's resonance stabilized how resonance stabilized we can break this bond towards this side and this bond towards this side if we break this bond towards this side positive charge is created over here and double bond over here double bond over here and chlorine over here this is resonance stabilization of this cationic intermediate now, what happens in the next step? See, on all the carbon atoms in benzene ring, we have a hydrogen atom. We have hydrogen atom over here as well. Now, this hydrogen atom is lost. In the next step, hydrogen atom is lost. We regain aromaticity. Aromaticity is regained. Double bond is created over here. Double bond, double bond and Cl. Now, see, overall what happens in the reaction? In place of hydrogen, we have substituted Cl plus, means we have substituted electrophile. Electrophile has been substituted in place of hydrogen, means electrophile has got substituted 
इन प्लेस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन देयर फोर ओवरऑल दिस रिएक्शन इज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन हिंस दिस रिएक्शन इज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन इफ आई ड्रॉ द एनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन एनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन वुड बी लाइक दिस now this is our energy from here we have energy and from here we have reaction progress the reaction progress now see in kinetics i have also already shown that reactants let the reactants are over here we have our reactants over here reactant our is benzene ring this is our benzene ring we treat it with chlorine now it reacts to form a transition state now the transition state over here is formed they react they combine together these molecules collide with each other they form activated complex the transition state were formed here is this is transition state transition state now this transition state is having higher energy because it is less stable than this from this transition state we we we, we will get what from this transition state we will get product our products will have less energy this is our chlorobenzene this is the reaction coordinate diagram of this reaction this is the reaction coordinate diagram first reactant molecule is reacted they form transition state transition state is having less energy than that of in a activated complex than that of this energy barrier than that of this energy of activation activated complex and this transition state then forms the product since products have less energy that's why this reaction proceeds that's the driving force of this reaction this is how we can get the product we can prepare in this reaction chlorobenzene is bromobenzene is we can use only we have to use lewis acid lewis acid used maybe alcl3 or fbr3 or we can use iron powder but the reaction should be carried out in dark why not in light what happens when we take when we take this reaction in light let us take example of this let us take example of methyl benzene now let us take one more example that's example of methyl benzene now this is derivative of benzene now see in this case we bring about the same reaction we treat it with clcl we treat it with clcl in presence of lewis acid catalyst alcl3 and the reaction is carried out in dark now see what happens now there is a methyl group attached over here methyl group shows plus i effect methyl group shows plus i effect plus i effect plus i effect means it donates electrons its electron donating therefore this position becomes electron rich if this position becomes electron rich or i can show over here the reason is structure of first this methyl benzene that's toluene this is toluene now this electron shift so are here it becomes negative charge double bond double bond it can come into resonance we can have negative charge you are here we can have one more resonating structure this is our next resonating structure double bond double bond ch3 we can have one more resonating structure this is our next resonating structure where we have one more negative charge you are this position this is double bond double bond ch3 seen all these resonating structures electron density increases at this position at this position and at this position now see this group which is next to the substituent it's called or this position which is next to the substituent it's called ortho position this is called our ortho position and this is called a para position and this is called ortho position in all these resonating structures electron density increases either at ortho or at para position now since the reaction involves electrophilic addition reaction therefore we can have two types of products either the electrophile cl plus gets attached to ortho position or it gets attached at para position we can have then two types of products now we can have two types of products from this reaction how we can have two types of products now see this bond breaks it attacks this cl minus this attacks it forms alcl4 we get ortho substituted product now this is our chlorine and this is our methyl group <coughs> over here we have hydrogen atom attached over here now i have broken this bond positive charge has come over here now break this bond we have double bond over here double bond over here break this bond to regain aromaticity we get this type of product now the product our is ortho chloro ben toluene this is our toluene and at ortho position we have substituted chlorine similarly we can substitute it at para position now see at para position we treat it with clcl that is cl plus and cl minus 
Now it attacks over here, we get para substituted product. Now this is our para chlorobenzene, para chlorotoluene. Now two types of products are formed, product first and product second. Depending upon which will be major product or minor product, we will discuss kinetic and thermodynamic controls of the reactions in the coming lectures. Here we are not going to discuss it, but two types of products are formed. Here I will mention only this will be the major product. There are number of factors we govern the major and minor product of these type of reactions. We will discuss them in detail. Now this is the reaction which is carried out in direct in presence of Lewis acid catalyst and with electrophile. This reaction is electrophilic substitution reaction. Now what happens? See in this case we have substituted halogen atom in the benzene ring. But what happens if this reaction is carried out in presence of light? In presence of H nu. Now the if same reaction is carried out, this is very important for competitive exams. If same reaction is carried out in presence of H nu, we are treating it with ClCl that is Cl2 or bromine 2 in presence of H nu. Means the reaction is carried out in presence of H nu. What happens in presence of H nu or peroxide? What happens in presence of H nu or peroxide? Free radicals are formed free radicals. Now once the reaction becomes free radical, then the order, uh, then the preference of attack is side chain of the reaction not in the benzene ring. We can get chloro, chloro derivative of this reaction, this reactant that will be, chlorine will be substituted in the side chain of the reaction not in the benzene ring. Therefore we get the product of this reaction, we can have chlorine over here, CH2Cl. This is very important and this has, this will be asked in the this this may be asked in the coming exams. If you have this reaction and you have this reaction, you treat with in presence of chlorine, in presence of light, and in absence of light, what will be be product A and B? Means the question will be asked like this. Question of this reaction will be asked like this. You have toluene. You have given toluene, and to this toluene you are carrying out bromination. In presence of FeBr3 in dark, and you are carrying out this bromination in presence of H nu. What will happen to this reaction? You will get product A and you will get product B. Now, once you have free radical mechanism, free radical bromination occurs in the side chain of the reaction, but electrophilic substitution occurs within the benzene ring. Therefore, we have two different types of reactions over here. This is electrophilic substitution electrophilic substitution this is electrophilic substitution and this is free radical substitution free radical this will follow free radical mechanism free radical mechanism takes place in the side chain of the ring and electrophilic substitution takes place within the ring therefore we get the product over here we get product this is bromine this will be the major product y major y minor we will discuss it later once i discuss reactions of halorines and we get orthobromo product as well, but this will be minor product. And in this case, we get the product chlorine or bromine or halogen will be substituted in the side chain. Now, see, I will discuss one more problem on this. Let me take one more type of this derivative of benzene. Over here, we have attached CH2, CH3. This is one more type. And over here, one more type I will take. In this case, I have attached over here C, H, C, H2, C, H3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now see what happens when you carry out bromination or chlorination in presence of H nu. That's in presence of light. When you carry out bromination or chlorination in presence of H nu. Now see the order of free radical attack in the side chain is... The order is tertiary, we have benzylic, benzylic, allylic, allylic carbon, then tertiary, then secondary, then primary. This is the order of suitability of radicals. Now it is benzylic carbon, the carbon which is directly attached to the aromatic ring, that is benzylic carbon, which is directly attached to the benzene ring, that is benzylic carbon. This carbon is benzylic carbon and this is primary carbon. What is the uh, order of reactivity? Benzylic carbon will be attacked in preference to primary carbon because benzylic carbon is more stable than that of primary carbon. So here we can have two types of products, but the major product is 
where our bromine attacks this benzylic carbon. This means we have CH, Br, CH3. This is the major product of the reaction. We cannot have our this type of product. We cannot have our this type of product. This is CH2, CH2Br. This product cannot be formed because the order of free radical attack or the stability order of benzylic radical is more than that of primary radical. Hence, we get this as the product. That's why such questions have been asked. Now, let's see, and see in this case, there is possibility of formation of three products. Either our bromine can be attached to this carbon atom or it can be attached to this carbon atom or it can be attached to this carbon atom. Now, see, this is primary carbon. This is secondary carbon. And this is what? This is benzylic carbon. Now the order of stability of radicals is benzylic radical is more stable than secondary radical than tertiary. Hence bromine will get attached over here. We can get this type of product. This is our CHBr, CH2, CH3. This is major product. This is very important reaction. Remember this is very important reaction. Now this is how we prepare haloarenes from benzenes. There are other, other methods of preparation. There is Gutterman reaction, but those reactions are, are to be discussed in benzene diazonium salts, that is functional group 4, the nitrogen containing derivatives. Here we will directly set out chemical properties or chemical reactions of haloarenes. What type of reactions do haloarenes undergo? Now see, haloalkanes undergo SN1 and SN2 reactions. Now let us discuss from that, can haloarenes undergo SN1 and SN2 reaction? Let me check first. <coughs> what type of reactions do haloarenes undergo? Do haloarenes undergo SN1 reaction or SN2 reaction or not SN1 and SN2? If not, then what type of reactions? Now let us take uh, reactions of haloarenes. Reactions of haloarenes. Haloarenes do not undergo, they do not undergo, do not undergo SN1 and SN2 reactions. Now the reason why, let us discuss first why not SN1, why not SN1, why haloarenes do not undergo SN1 reaction. Now recall your last topic. In whenever there is SN1 reaction, what is formed? Carbocation is formed. Carbocation is formed as an intermediate. Now see in haloarenes why this carbocation is not formed. Now see haloarenes, in haloarenes we have benzene ring. To this benzene ring we have halogen attached where X may be fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine. Now see this carbon and this carbon bond. Now this carbon contains how many sigma bonds? 1, 2 and 3. It is sp2 hybridized. Now this carbon is sp2 hybridized carbon. And sp2 hybridized carbon, now see the order of reactivity, sp3 hybridized carbon is more react, uh, sp hybridized carbon is more reactive than sp2 than sp3. By sp hybridized carbon, I mean carbon which is bonded to triple bond. By sp2 I mean carbon which is bonded to double bond. By sp3 I mean which is bonded to only sigma bonds. Now see, because there is a sp2 hybridized carbon, what happens over here? We can have this lone pair of electrons, it can be shifted over here. This pair can be shifted over here. We can have a resonating structure. What type of resonating structure we are going to get? We are getting new type of structure. That structure is like this in which our carbon halogen acquires some sort of double bond character. Now since the bond strength increases because carbon halogen bond in because carbon halogen bond acquires double bond character, this bond strength increases. If the bond strength increases, then bond dissociation energy of this bond will be higher. Then it is difficult to break this bond. If the bond is difficult to break, we cannot break this bond towards halogen and we cannot get carbocation over here. We cannot get carbocation over here. Since we are not getting carbocation, therefore possibility of SN1 reaction is ruled out. Now why SN1 reaction does not take place? For SN1 reaction to take place, carbon halogen bond has to be broken down. In haloarenes, carbon halogen bond acquires some sort of double bond character. 
because the double bond has more stronger than that of single bond as compared to that of hello alkanes this is a single bond this is easy this can be easily broken and this is difficult to break because it has some sort of double bond character therefore it requires more energy to break this bond under normal conditions we cannot break down this bond we cannot get carbocation that's benzyl carbocation the, therefore sn1 reaction possibility of sn1 reaction is ruled out in this case that's why sn1 reaction cannot take place now we will write over here why not sn1 why not sn1 why hello arenes do not undergo sn1 reaction now we'll write it like this for sn1 reaction to take place for sn1 reaction to take place carbon halogen bond has to be broken down has to be broken down first carbon halogen bond has to be broken down first since in hello arenes in hello arenes cx bond has some sort of has some sort of partial double bond character partial double bond character it has some sort of partial double bond character therefore cannot be broken down cannot be broken down under normal conditions only under drastic conditions when you increase temperature to 700 600 then cannot be broken down under normal conditions hence if it cannot be broken down carbocation cannot be formed carbocation cannot be formed if carbocation is not formed then why from we can get sn1 reaction and it's no sn1 reaction and it's no sn1 reaction you can show it by like you can show it like this this is our hello arene it's attached to halogen now this bond has some partial double bond character means it is in resonance with this species it has some sort of double bond character therefore we cannot break down this bond we cannot get carbocation no carbocation no carbocation carbocation formation is the primary condition for sn1 reaction to take place carbocation is the primary condition for sn1 reaction to take place now why not sn2 why halogens do not undergo sn2 reaction why not sn2 now see what happens in sn2 reaction in sn2 reaction nucleophile has to approach from the back side now the back side of the ring should be or the back side should be free it should not be sterically hindered what happens in sn2 reaction what happens in case of haloarenes now see this is our carbon halogen bond if our nucleophile comes it has to attack from the back side of the ring to this carbon atom which bears carbon halogen bond now see back side of the ring is electron rich it has pi electrons over here pi electrons over here pi electrons over here these pi electrons they are electron rich our nucleophile is also electron rich they will feel repulsion is because of repulsion is from the electrons of benzene ring this nucleophile approach of this nucleophile it's not allowed hence sn2 reaction cannot take place therefore how can we write it let us write it like this since back side of since back side of since back side of this ring benzene ring or any other aromatic ring is pi electron rich pi electron rich it is pi electron rich hence approach of nucleophile approach of nucleophile is not feasible is not feasible from back side is not feasible from back side it's not feasible from back side it will be repellent it will be repellent it will be repellent it will be repellent by pi electron rich system pi electron rich system pi electron rich system of benzene ring of benzene ring hence sn sn2 reaction is ruled out hence sn2 type of reaction is ruled out
roll it out. We cannot have SN2 type of reaction. We cannot have SN1 reaction under normal conditions. Therefore, what type of reactions do haloirenes undergo? They undergo electrophilic substitution reactions. We will discuss in the next lecture electrophilic substitution reactions of haloirenes. And after that, we will have one more lecture that will be the end of haloalkanes and haloirenes. Thanks for watching.